YouTube. Ryan from Silver Boss Salmon Fries here, and today we're going to be tying a tungsten cone head version of a ghillie fly. To start off, you'll need two bits of tubing, a liner, which you burn slightly, put a rounded edge on, and your outer tubing, which you cut on an angle top and bottom to help form the head. That tube pushes inside. Cut the end off to where you want your hook to go in, the back. Cut this down shorter so it's easier to tie like this. And then we'll put some glue on here and tie it in. But that little flange that you've created with a lighter on the liner does help. Okay, we'll get started. Tie some red thread on here at the front. Don't worry about it looking slightly messy and whatnot at this point. But once you've tied that thread on, a bit of super glue, top and bottom there. Come back. Tie it through. That should keep that well in place. Okay. Just get a rough cover with your thread. I don't have to worry about touch and turns like. Put a base on it. Kidoki. Once you've got that base on, you've come down to the point just in front of the flange of the liner. I'm gonna put me orange bucktail. In at the back. Maybe I don't know, maybe it's about twice the length of the um of the fly of the length of the body. I haven't tied one of these flies for a while, so I thought I would give it a go at the deer. Keep it square as you're tying it. Take it down to the front where you're going to tie your wing in. Get your fibres. Cut them off. On a back angle. Tidy it up on the way back down here. Into the tail, we're going to put some micro flash in gold and some mirror crinkle flash in red. Fold it out, pull it back, a couple of back turns. That'll stay in there, lovely. Gold oval uni French oval rib to form a tag in front of the tail. Um, right. 
back half of this fly is doing a gold holographic tinsel in size 12 or large on the top Straight turn at the back, keep the job right Fold forward Oh Christ Try not to let it can like that, I don't like what I've just done Couple of decent turns out to hold it on the thread. Black floss here. Yeah. Uni floss 600 worn ply in black. Put it on underneath if you can. If you just put it on the side and pull it under. Um, that should do. Wind that in. Don't worry about that twisting as you're winding like it'll be alright. Straighten your fibers out. Over. Check you've got a nice straight turn. You could probably use a black thread on this. This is a U. This is a UTC Ultra thread, uh, and an 8O in red. The thread I've used to tie this fly just because I like using that thread you could use a 6 or you could use any colour thread you want really because the black covers the thread up the black floss quite well and we're putting a Dunson head on so it doesn't matter what colour thread you use or really I didn't think the gauge either because it's a big enough tube like to use a 6 or just use what thread you feel comfortable with winding your floss forward but keeping it tight on this forward slope Catch it in. Couple of turns to secure. We want to be keeping this front end fairly tidy. Right, let's have a look at this. Um, tag at the back. I like to form a bit of a tag at the back on in front of this tail. It just looks looks alright. Let's like the look of it. Ah uh, three will do. Three turns at the back and just start your yeah, forward turns up the fly. Slightly angled forward. I'm not the best at doing that, like I normally have them all different spaces, different sizes. The fly will look a bit bent. Um, oh look, I've just realised underneath on the fly, I've just missed a bit of the red thread there. With that floss, you might not be able to see, but you just tiniest bit, like you might not be able to see just there. Try not to do that, <clears throat> for sure. I'm trying to hurry this fly, you see, because it's a complicated fly, especially for me tying it like. Upside down here. Uh, the fly looks bent. Um, don't worry about that. Um, what we've got going in here. Just because the way it's cl clamped into the vise. <clears throat> Underneath. We're going to have orange squirrel tail on this throat. I've put it in the stack. I'll straighten it out. You don't need to. I just like doing that. I'm probably going to have it. Just coming. Past the tag that I formed, a couple of turns, get it where you want it, cut it back. Mm, nice and tidy now. Super glue again, keep everything super glued in on this fly, as I do with most of my flies. I'm 
put a fold in this. Hopefully that glue's dry. Put a fold in that just by nipping it back. That will sit that throw it a lot more neat underneath. Another fly. Right on the top, a bit of wax on the thread. On the top, we're putting some Arctic Runner in, in yellow. Cut it. I want a few of the longer fibres left it on this, so take the under fibres out, the sort of fluff underneath. Have a look, see what you've got left. Mm. Sparse. I like mine sparse, so I'm going to pull a few of them out. Right, offer it up with a fly. See what you're happy with and what you're not. This one I'm going to take it just past the, into the tail, maybe it's a quarter. Maybe it's a quarter into that tail before I tie this one in. Um, aye, that'll do. You'll probably do it a bit longer than that if you wanted. But you can do however long or short you want to be fair with you. Your fly, your tie it. Just make sure the top is in line with the bottom. Yeah, wing on the top's in line with your throat, the squirrel tail throat you put in, so your fly's nice and balanced. Plenty glue on there. Um, you can put some flash in this front wing if you want. I'm not going to. I'm not bothered about it, I don't think I need it. Um, there's plenty of flash in that tail. Plenty of flash on that body. Now for have a little look at it. Maybe just put a little fold in that if you wish. Okay. On the front here, this one I'm tying, I'm gonna put a hackle in. I haven't used hackles for a while. I've been using a lot of hair wings. Hen hackle in orange, good side facing you. Tied in at the tip. Couple of turns, fold it back for good measure. Plenty of wax on the thread. Cut it off. Straighten your fibres out. Fold back and turn. Fold back. And turn, fold back, and turn. Let that go because I'm not happy with that. Fold it back, get it where you want it. Take your time. Couple of turns will do. Bring the feather across to the right angle. Stalk. You can cut it off. You can fold it back and tie it in if you wish. But again, on all the flies I've tied, I've never had any fold of pieces on us, and I'm a very rough caster, so just do what works for you, I suppose. Separate it there if you want to show your fly. Top and bottom. A thumbnail. Okay, um, underneath again here. I'm going to drop a little bit of a throat onto this to keep the gilly fly colours on. It's a guinea fowl, um, dyed in blue. I'll probably put that about the same length as the hackle fibres I've wound on, which is probably coming in about half the length of the, the squirrel throat. Centralise it. Put it in the centre. Couple of turns. Missed a few. That happens. Don't worry about that. Touch of the old super glue. Right, 
that's sitting all right, that leg. Oh, blow my finger, try not to do that. Right. Jungle cock eyes we're going to put on. I'm going to put them on separately. That thread needs wax desperately. Tie that eye in on that side. About, nah, about, probably about half the length of the body. Maybe it's nearly the same length as the as the hen hackle fire as you've you've wound on. Perhaps make sure that they're the same and they're balanced. That look all right. That will do. Come forward. Fold them back. It's not super duper essential on this one with it having the tungsten head on. Uh, keep the front of this fly as small as you can because you want to make sure you can fit the tungsten head on. I should normally I check to see if it's gonna fit um, before before I uh, finish my fly off like but since I've made this video I've I've took the chance like <laughs> so I'm gonna whip finish this quickly and Fingers crossed, this will be a good video to put on for a for a spoof. If it doesn't work, it doesn't fit on. We'll finish. Good. Plenty of glue on this. Good dollop of super glue all the way around. This head's gonna go on, tungsten head's gonna go on. And you want the glue to stick stick it on really but there is something you do with the tubing at the end to keep it on. Push it on, that's fit that lovely man. Make sure it's on straight. You doubt yourself, Mr. Thompson. You doubt yourself. I'm mm, not happy with that little jungle cock eye there. It's a bit wonky. Wonky donkey. Never mind. Right, that's on there like that. Take your fly off the face. What we're going to do here is shift the face with it. Cut the end of that pretty close and um, get the light out. I burn right back. Put that back on there for you to have a look at. Straighten that out. And that there is the gilly fly tungsten head, tungsten corn head. Um, sorry, it's gone out of focus. Thanks very much for watching. If you've liked that video, if it's been any help to you, please leave your comments. Please press the like button, subscribe to the channel, and check us out on Instagram, Silver Bar Salmon Flies. Thank you.